Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Troy Grant and I am here to give you a tutorial on how to use the application storage and session storage plugins in the Cold Box Cold Fusion framework. The reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because when I was developing uh, my application in uh, ASL class, uh, I was using uh, session variables the old-fashioned way, you know, session dot whatever, application session dot whatever, and um, my Rilo is configured in a funky way, so only the application way works for me. But when I went to uh, share the app, share my work on the app with the team, uh, nothing worked for them. And it was because uh, their Rilo uh, server is configured in a different way from mine. Uh, so my way wouldn't work for them, and their way wouldn't work for me. Uh, so the way around this I found was using uh, the application storage and session storage plugins uh, built into the Coldbox framework. Uh, you can see I've got the documentation open now. And I will put uh, the URL to this page uh, down at the bottom of this video if you want to check it out yourself. So the first thing you got to do uh, when using any of the Coldbox plugins is to get that plugin. Uh, so you would type uh, CF set get plugin uh, open parentheses uh, either application storage or session storage uh, depending on what kind of uh, session storage that you want to use then I'm going to say set var and then the name of the variable I want to set uh, now say you wanted to uh, keep track of whether someone was logged in or not uh, you could say logged in and uh, this method takes two arguments. Uh, first argument is going to be the name of the variable. Uh, second argument is going to be the value to set. Uh, so say when I want, when they click on this, I want them to be logged in. So I would say true or one or whatever you want. It's a session variable. You can call it whatever you want. Now typing it this way is exactly the same as if I had said session dot logged in equals true. Now doing it this way, it works the same as the session variable, but one thing you have to bear in mind is that when you set a session variable this way, you're not actually setting a session variable at all. Uh, what this is called is it's called a foe variable, which means it behaves the same as a session variable without actually being a session variable. For example, if I were to actually try to get back uh, the data used setting it through this method, uh, doing it the old fashioned way, like uh, session.logged in. It wouldn't work. So if you set session variables using the plugin, the only way to get them back out is using the plugin. Well, how to get them back out? You would use get var instead, and that is going to return the value of the variable uh, that you set. If that variable doesn't exist, it's just going to return blank. Uh, some more useful methods here are uh, get storage. Uh, which is going to get you the entire uh, storage scope, so all of the variables that you have set using the plugin thus far, it's just going to get you that entire thing. And uh, one that's very useful for uh, logging out or ending a session, uh, clear all here, that's going to clear the entire uh, session storage. So yeah, I uh, definitely found this uh, easier and more versatile than uh, doing it the old-fashioned way. So yeah, if you're using Coldbox and you want to do some session management, I uh, highly recommend using the application storage and session storage plugins that come uh, packaged with Coldbox. And that's about it. My name is Troy Grant, and I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Thanks.